Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to pour water into a cup. So the first thing we want to do is create our domain area. So select the default queue, press S, scale it out, and once you're happy with the size that you like, press G, Z, and just bring it above this red line. And then check choose wireframe. Then we're going to press Shift A, mesh, and we're going to use a UV sphere or an icosphere. Press G, C, and just lift it up. And we'll choose the default the, the the domain cube over here create a new collection actually and call this flow and put the sphere in the flow thing there we go anyways now we've got our domain cube over here we're going to go to our physics properties add fluid none and choose domain change gas to liquid which is crucial you can increase this intensity but it will slow down your render leave it as is for now especially when you making sure that the render works then scroll all the way down and change reply, replay to all which is very important and initially I would recommend just rendering this out but before you do you have to select this sphere fluid and change this to a flow change it to a liquid change it to an inflow and then select this domain and before we get fancy let's just bake this out and make sure that the baking works I'll see you after the baking process is done. Alright, so now when we press spacebar, we will see liquid is pouring out. So it is working, so that's great. So we can go back to frame one. And the first thing we want to do, unfortunately we have to free all that we've already baked, but we know it's working. So now we can go up here. And some of the core things we might want to change is the resolution, maybe to 64 it will bake slower doing this so keep that in mind and we might want to turn on mesh over here if you increase the intensity here it will look a lot better but it slows down the baking process and the diffusion we can select a default preset water oil or honey we're going to use water in this example and if we scroll down I think that's about it now all we need to do we can also limit it say we don't want to do it for 250 frames maybe just 100 frames and maybe we make our scene only 100 frames and now if we bake all it'll take a bit longer but I'll see you after it is baked great so if you're still following along if we press play now we should be able to see the liquid let's choose solid view mode let's also right shade that smooth so it just looks a bit more real the liquid is looking pretty good um, so if you followed so long this is where you're at so the next step is now we're going to add a glass so let's just go back and if you're wondering why it stops at this spot if we select if we, our domain scroll all the way up here we've actually selected that the, the domain's borders in, prohibit the water from going out of it but now we're going to add a glass so let's go back to frame one we're going to now press shift a mesh and we're going to add a default cube, press G, C. And now that we've got this default cube over here, we're going to press tab to go into edit mode. We're going to press 1 to choose vertices select. Right click, merge vertices at center. Now we've got a single vert and we can press E. Press Z to lock it to the Z axis. Bring it up, have something like that and then press tab to go into object mode and currently it's a mesh we have to convert this mesh into a curve and now the symbol has changed it is a curve next thing we want to do is press shift a we're going to add a curve we're going to add a circle now when we select this curve over here we want to go to the object data properties of the curve go to the, to the geometry go to the bevel select object and choose the bezier circle that we just added and then we're going to select the bezier circle and we're going to press s and we're just going to decide on the thickness of our cup something like that should be fine once you've got a thickness that you like the next step is to select the um, this curve that we just created and press object and convert to mesh shade smooth once you've done that you can select this bezier circle press x delete and create a new collection and we're going to call this <laughs> effectors things that affect our uh, simulation going here which would include this over here which we're going to name cup I guess uh, now we, we only got a cylinder type thing we don't have a cup just yet so let's press tab 
press 2 to choose edge selector holding alt and select an edge here press F to fill and choose normals auto smooth at 30 should make that look right and do the same at the top alt numpad 1 zoom out press S and just scale it out a bit and you can also just move it up and down to find a thickness that looks realistic something like that looks real enough press tab to be in object mode and we've got a cup which is great the only problem with this cup at the moment is that it's not thick enough so we're going to add a modifier and the modifier that we'll add is a solidify modifier and we're going to increase it to 0.03 and that creates a decent amount of thickness then we can go to the material properties add a material and the material that we're adding the main thing is the transmission needs to be one so that it's transparent we'll leave the roughness on 0.5 but if we wanted to be per a perfect glass we'd make it zero but I'm quite happy with that so when we go to our material viewport this will look funny because we're currently rendering everything uh, what's viewing everything through Eevee and Eevee doesn't do well with glass for whatever reason but once you've got that we're going to go to our physics properties and we're going to click fluid and we're going to select effector and we're going to choose planar once you've done that the next thing you want to do is select your domain which is the original cube over here and we're going to scroll all the way down we're going to free all and if you had multiple things flows and effectors you might want to use this over here as well so flows your collections like we did over here at the top there it just makes it easier to manage everything and uh, once you've got everything set inside of this frame let's choose just choose wireframe mode for a second I'm quite happy with that it should be fine now we can just bake all and I'll see you once this has been baked cheers right once it's baked you can press play to see how it looks as we can see water is coming out there quite nicely but does it get stuck in the cup yes it does and it fills it up quite nicely and eventually it should overflow it which is a nice little effect but um, if you want it to look a lot more realistic we could uh, free all and we could just increase the the, the the factor over here and uh, also we would want to increase the resolution that would also help quite a bit um, I'm actually going to cut this simulation to to end at 80 and I'm going to press play and see how it looks at frame 80 because I don't really want it to come out of the cup so at frame 80 it should stop oh, okay well it stops immediately so I'll have to leave it at frame 100 for now unless I change this to frame 90 85 so I'm going to change this to frame 85 only because this is a tutorial and I need to make one of these every single day and the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to pour liquid into a cup and that that part is done um, if we go to the render view you will notice that our render engine struggles a bit so let's just choose the right color so we check choosing this over here we'll choose transmission of 0 0.9 should be 95 well, 0 0.9 is probably more accurate and we'll choose a base color of blue the cup is already has already got a transmission and uh, we could add a faucet at the top here but we'll leave it as is we'll choose an angle over here we press we'll select the camera we'll press control shift zero and then we'll press G and just bring it everything into frame and 
with that like that next thing we want to do is select this and we want to choose what we disable in render and one thing we want to disable in render is this so we also want to go to our render engine and switch this to cycles and change our light source settings quickly change it to sun and then change this to 15 and then we're going to render this quickly before we do we could increase the detail but I'm going to leave it as is because I've got a potato PC and I'll see you once this is rendered we can kind of see how it's rendering the glass has a lot of roughness so I probably want to smooth it out and I probably want to increase the transmission of this liquid material to 0 0.99 which I'll do now and there you have it um, obviously I'd like to play around more with the materials and the resolution of the water but I hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson please like and subscribe and thank you for watching this video